crucify the flesh magnify the Holy Spirit and go study the Word of God together. Thank you so much for tuning in to our broadcast today. I'm Pastor Charlene Neal Keat with A Journey into Wholeness Cathedral Worldwide Ministries. I am excited for you tuning in to our broadcast today. You stay tuned for an exciting message. Get ready for the Word of God. Be blessed. One more time. Yes, right. One more time. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
to present your body, dedicating all of yourselves, set apart as a living sacrifice, holy and well-pleasing to God, which is your rational, logical, intelligent act of worship. He said, when you, when you submit yourself to him, it's a form of worship. Yes. He said, Lord, I, you said, Lord, I worship you. Mm -hmm. On your job, not just in the church, not yes. just in the sanctuary. Yes. His spirit resides on the inside of us. Yes. So your form of worship, even on your job, is to logically think about it. Yes. And to make an intellectual decision. Uh -huh. We know we're spiritual beings. We know we're not of the world. Yes. But we still live our logic. We don't lose our common sense. Yes. So when you demonstrate it on your job by being on time, hallelujah, help me, Holy Ghost, because sometimes I run a little late. Well. But we go, we get there on time. We do our job. If we have a problem, we communicate effectively with our supervisors mm -hmm. and let them know what's going on. Yes. Hallelujah. But even when you do right, you know opposition going to come. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said well, then we got the spirit on the end. We have the word of God on the inside of us when yes. we study the word. And we know that, you know, opposition will come. But we say in ourselves, we start having self-talk. Say, well, but be a good cheer, Shirley. Mm -hmm. well, Jesus man. Christ overcame. Yeah. It's rough. Things are coming against me on every side. All right. But I'm going to be a good cheer because I got the word. The word tells me. You know, to be a good cheer because he overcame mm -hmm. and I will too. Yeah. So let me keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Let me keep pressing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. To God be the glory. Yeah. To God be the glory. Thank you, God. So, you see, Israel was tempted. Amen. They were tempted to waver between the Lord God and pagan God. This is what this verse is talking about in Isaiah 46, verse 9 through 10. Uh -huh. He was tempted to waver between the Lord God. God and pagan God. Mm -hmm. How many know the enemy going to bring to you something that you like? Well, something that's uh, intriguing, that intrigues your flesh. Mm -hmm. This flesh is a mess. It wants to do what it wants to do, when it well, wants to do, how it wants to do it. Yeah. How do I know? Because I, I allowed the flesh to rule my life many years. Mm -hmm. I did what I want to do, how I want to do it, when I wanted to do it. I know, I see the halos over your head. You ain't yeah. never made no mistake. Yeah. Well, Pastor Sean Lee had Yes. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. This flesh is a mess. Yes. Uh -huh. And I still have to put it down. Mm -hmm. You know, and you put my members under control. Yes. We're under 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 Christ. Well, Spending okay. time with him. Mm -hmm. So you see, Israel was tempted to waver between the Lord God and pagan God. Yes. Isaiah affirms the soul lordship of God. God is unique, his not in his knowledge and in his control of the future. Mm -hmm. His consistent purpose to carry out what he has planned. When we are tempted, beloved, yes. to pursue anything that promises pleasure, mm -hmm. comfort, peace, mm -hmm. uh, and our security apart from God, we must remember to, to be, make sure that we commit our way to the Lord. Amen? Amen. That we stay committed. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We must remember that God's counsel will stand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, if you're in relationship with him, the Holy Spirit is going to put an unction in your spirit. Amen. And that's one of his roles. Yes. He, he counsels us. He Amen. leads and guides us. He helps us in our weaknesses. Amen? Amen? We know the role of the Holy Spirit. If we walk this walk long enough, we know. So God, he is, God, uh, beloved, we must remember that God's counsel will stand. Yes. When he says something, it is so. Oh, yes. We got, we got, we got testimonies this morning about. Jesus. They were praying about their cars. Right. Yeah. Praying Amen. about their houses. Yeah. He's a man that he cannot lie. Yeah. Yeah. And so it means it will happen. Mm -hmm. Just know that he has plenty of evidence to demonstrate that he can be trusted. Yeah. Yeah. Reflect back over your life, beloved. Ooh, yeah. He can be trusted like no other. Yeah. You personally have some evidence in your own life. Yeah. We heard it this morning. God is so good. Yes. Let me ask you another question. Have you ever struggled with the passage in the Bible that talk about God making us into new creations? Mm -hmm. Have you ever struggled with it? Jesus. Verses that tell us that God is doing a new thing. Yes. Or have you ever wondered to yourself, why isn't he doing something new in me? Well. You say to yourself, I want to be a new person mm -hmm. in Christ. I want new beginnings. Yeah. And I want to be that new creation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I come by to remind you that 2 uh -oh. Corinthians 5 and 17 tells us that therefore if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Uh -huh. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things.
things become new. Amen. And I'm going to give you a testimony. Praise I know that I would read that, but I was a young Christian, and I, I couldn't, it was hard for me to accept it. And as you know, it was hard for me. I struggled with what the Word of God said, that I'm a new creation. Because I didn't believe there was a God. I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. You know, how could such an evil thing, a man of God, who get up here and preach the Word of God, could do such a horrible thing to me Bye -bye. at 12 years old? Yeah. But God, how many know? God is a man. Like we said, he's a man that he cannot lie. Bye -bye. So he took me on my own journey. But that scripture had to become alive to me. Well, but he loved me. I, I talked personally about it. Yeah. He loved me so much. He let me know I love you. I haven't forgot about you, Charlene. Oh, no. He took me on my own journey. Right. Low self-esteem. Didn't have no self-esteem. Just low. Because I was 12 years old. I didn't know what, what sex was. Uh -huh. So I was, I was distraught. I, I didn't know. Relationship after relationship. Yeah. Didn't know how to have a healthy relationship. Mm -hmm. But look at God. Yeah. He has revealed everything in my life. And he's revealing it. God is a faithful God. There is no one like him. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. So, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. All things are better. It was hard for me to accept it. How many know when things are so rooted and grounded in your life, sometimes it can be hard to accept? Hallelujah. But, but he's the creator. Yes. Yes. So 2 Corinthians 5, 7, 10 reminds us that if we, if we are following Christ, he is making us new. Uh -huh. We must constantly remind ourselves that God's timing may not be ours. Yes. And it's yes. usually not. And it may not happen as quickly as we like. Well, uh, I believe that sometimes we wish that God was a magic uh, 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 a genie or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I do. Uh -huh. We want it right away. Yes. Well, Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. <laughs> I believe sometimes we do. We want a magic genie to snap his fingers and make us into a new creation. Oh, yeah. And that's what I wanted. I said, if you're real, this happened to me. I want it right now. Show me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Because I don't believe in no, no man of God. Amen. I think all of them crooks. Yeah. That was mine. It was, uh, mother. I had a, a, a toe up attitude about when it comes to me and God. But God, but God, the one who spoke the world to exist, but God. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Almighty God, He said, "Yeah, you keep on talking your little noise. I'm, a, I'm a, He know how to humble you, don't he? Yeah. Yeah. You say, "Yeah, Pastor, you speak for yourself." Sometimes, sometimes I want a genie. I want someone to touch and just snap their finger and let and let everything. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. So I come by to encourage you. Mm -hmm. Don't look back at All what right. you came out of. Yeah. Don't look back. Yeah. What, you, what you thought brought you pleasure, comfort, peace, and security. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the former things, Amen. but look at the new things. Yeah. The yeah. one who's declaring the end from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. And not only that, but who is declaring the ancient time. Mm -hmm. The things that are not yet done. Yes. He said he know the things that are not even done yet. All right. Hallelujah. Yeah. He, he know the end from the beginning. Yes. The end yes. of your life. Yes.
was coming Hallelujah. by help because our help coming from you. Yeah. Lord, you said in your word that weeping may endure for a night, joy. but joy cometh joy. in the morning. Hallelujah. Lord, I encourage your people what you're telling me in my quiet time. It's morning time. Yeah. And Lord, I thank you for the testimonies Amen. that let me know it's morning time. It's not about the material things, but Lord, it's about you saying that you'll supply all I need Hallelujah. according to your riches and glory by Christ yeah. Jesus. So Lord, I thank you for supplying the, their needs.